This video is to demonstrate the SureGuard safety restraint chair for the correctional and law enforcement environments. We're not going to actually do a simulation of the total restraining process. Uh, rather, we're just going to show step-by-step step how to use this chair as you restrain a uh, detainee as the handler. In real life, you'll be working with a full team and the, the actual process that you'll experience is gonna be much more physically demanding than what you'll see on this video. The first thing you need to do is remove shoes, belts, jewelry, glasses before you start uh, dealing with the, the detainee and, and starting the restraining process. When you start the restraining process, the first thing you wanna make sure you have are all of the straps open and loose. So as you go through the process, nothing gets in the way. Once all the straps are open, then the next step is to engage the brakes. Now you have to be very, very careful when you're engaging the brakes. As you extend the piston, there are ribs on this wheel that if you go, don't get between the ribs, the brakes won't engage. And it is possible that if you push too hard without being in that space, you can actually break one of those ribs. So you want to engage the brakes so that the chair doesn't move during the restraining process. Once a detainee is in the chair, the first strap that you want to apply is the lap strap. Now, I've already gotten it loose, put it across his lap, and then the looped end of the lap strap goes over this bar. Over here, you pull on this to tighten it. Now your objective here is just so the detainee cannot stand up. You are going to re-tighten the lap strap, so don't make it too tight now because you still have to deal with the handcuffed hands behind him. Then the next step is to take the chain of the leg irons and put it over the hook. And then the ankle straps go on after you make sure that his foot is all the way back against this bar. The ankle straps go on and there's a, a clevis over here on the side that the strap actually slips under. Okay, and then you pull it again snug, but not so tight as you cut off blood circulation. Once you have both ankle straps on, then it's okay or it's time to release the leg irons. Once you have removed the leg irons, you wanna go back and check and make sure that everything is snug, but not so tight that it cuts off circulation. And then the handcuff tether, which is this hook, goes between the two handcuffs on the link. Now, you're gonna release each arm individually and that's why you put the tether on so that once you let one arm out, the second arm is still restrained behind the back. The next step is to remove one arm so that you can restrain it. So for that, you have to have the detainee lean forward. Using a handcuff key, release one or the other. It doesn't matter which arm you start with. And then once an arm is loose, you first start with the wrist strap. Now, there's some cautions here. You wanna make sure that his wrist is flat on the armrest. If it's cockeyed at an angle at all, that's gonna leave a space where it's loose and perhaps they can get out. So once it's flat, you pull down on the wrist strap. Another caution here is you don't wanna make it too tight even though the blood vessels, the major blood vessels are down here, if you make it too tight, you can cut off their circulation. Once you have the wrist strap applied, then you'll do the elbow strap. This is a two-part Velcro strap. 
So first black on black, once you have that firmed, then it's brown on brown. Now that arm is fully restrained. We release the other arm and just repeat the same process. So the arms are fully secured now. The next step are the shoulder straps. And you wanna be very, very careful as you go through this process to not ever cross, go across the chest. Okay, the shoulder straps are designed to go over the shoulders and then through the clevis that's back here. And depending on the size of the person, the strap you can see has various notches and depending on the size of the person, it'll de determine which notch you use. Then you do the other shoulder same way, th across the shoulder, through the armpit, and back here. Now the thing you have to be careful of is you get these straps even, the same number of notches. Otherwise, the restraining here will be different and it can cause problems and they can also escape that way. Then you have to go back and re-tighten the lap belt. Then it's time to release the brakes. Now this is very critical because if you don't release the brakes and you try and move the detainee to another location, then you can actually break the hubs inside the wheel. So you release the brakes, that way you can move them anywhere, anytime, whenever it's necessary. What you just saw me do alone, remember you're gonna have an entire team. So the team will be helping you hold the detainee in place the various extremities as you work with the arms and the legs. The time will come, and you can go to our specifications on our, our website, and it's got suggestions on the medical concerns and guidelines on how long they should be in there, but the time will come when it's appropriate to release them. All right, so the first thing you will do as you start releasing the detainee is to engage the brakes. And remember the cautions we talked about before, but you have to engage the brakes so the chair is steady as you are releasing them. Once the brakes are engaged, then you're gonna loosen the lap belt. And again, the handcuff key in the hole, pull it out a little bit, but don't fully take it out. Uh, just make it looser. Then, pushing on the lever back here, you'll release the shoulder strap. Once it's loose up here, then you can take the rest of the strap out of the hooks back behind. Once you've done that, then the double Velcro elbow strap can come off. And then again with the handcuff key in the hole, pushing on the lever to release the wrist strap so that they can get out. The handcuff key, uh, tether, the handcuffs, if you need to put them back on, that's up to you. Likely you won't have to, but again, that's your decision. The same is true with the leg irons, okay? The arms are now released, so you, you push, push on the inside lever here, which releases the ankle strap so that you can get both ankles out. Once you have all of those loose and off, then you can uh, totally release the lap strap. Again, the handcuff key in the hole to make it loose loose enough so that you can take it off the bar over on the other side. Once that's accomplished, the detainee can stand up and you can disengage the